Uh, welcome to our video. T uh, we've already done a video on uh, how to do a Berlizzi funnel, how to collect leaf litter and look for insects um, with a Berlizzi funnel. And so this video is one of the ways that we photograph some of these super tiny critters that are like the size of a grain of salt. The small ones, yeah. Uh, even smaller, really, some, right? Some, some of them, yeah. And so that can be very challenging to photograph. So this is one of the ways that we have that's probably the most technical, but it's kind of fun <laughs> to, to photograph uh, some of these tiny critters this way. So um, if that interests you, you can like and subscribe and uh, you'll be notified when we make more videos like this. So I was fortunate enough when we lived in Austin to have a photography friend that had acquired a ProScan 2 prior XYZ stage, which is what you see right here um, mounted on, uh, on a frame, uh, that it didn't work and he just gave it to me. And I got it working and uh, that's what I'm using here. Um, for this, you can probably get these or something similar to this, uh, you know, on eBay or something like that. This was years ago, so I mean, they, they may make this kind of thing much cheaper now and, and more readily available. I'm really not quite sure. But basically, this is an automated XYZ Sage. This particular one is ProScan 2 uh, by Prior. And to be clear, mm -hmm. it's just this black part right. here, it's just this. This part here we had... The, this is an XY stage uh, that's mounted on a, on a Z rail, Z axis rail back there. And so with the with this joystick I can move the uh, stage around XY. I can also move it up and down to find focus with the knob here to Z and the Z axis. Um, the camera is mounted on a copy stand. Uh, right now I'm just using the, uh, I'm using Canon and the MPE 65 um, racked out all the way, so 5X. Um, sometimes with really small stuff, I add a 1.4 teleconverter or a 2X teleconverter on it. And then I just have a little bit of diffusion material here. This is just an old paper cup that I use as a friction frame so I can actually move this up and down uh, as need be um, uh, with some Roscoe vellum around that to provide uh, diffusion. And I'm using a one of these really cheap little uh, IKEA clamp desk lamps as my modeling light. <laughs> Yeah, they, these are great little lights. It just is this particular. They come in a couple of different versions, but this one just has a clamp, which I'm just at the end, and I'm just clipping it onto the copy stand, and then it's just on a, a flexible arm here. So that works great for a modeling light. I'm using two uh, Vivitar 283 flashes with VP1 adapters so that I can just adjust the power. Um, Ooh, and then somebody. all of that is I have the camera connected to the laptop here so that I can control the camera and I've got it on live view on this monitor up there. So all of this is live happening up there. It was a termite that just walked through a minute ago. So I can navigate around and so and this is for in situ quote unquote type shots. Um, you know, you, you could do something like this on, with a white background as well but the way I'm using this right now with the soil in there, this, these would produce kind of in situ looking type shots. So I can maneuver uh, around looking for things uh, to, uh, to try and photograph. Um, I'm using a foot pedal to actually take the exposure. That way I don't have to move my hand from the joystick or do something with my left hand over here. I can just take a, a picture uh, with the, as long as I'm on the, uh, the window, I can just take a picture by pressing down on the foot pedal. This is just a USB device. Um, because I'm using Mac, uh, this thing is really set up for PCs. I didn't think I was going to get it to work on the Mac. I finally did. If anybody has issues with that and they're using VM Fusion 
on the PC side, which is where you really have to set it up, I can tell you a couple of tricks on how to make that work. Uh, just e email me. When I didn't think I was going to get that to work, I was like, well, what can I do as, a, as some uh, uh, you know, alternative? And um, you can actually just use an old... I just had a USB mouse uh, sitting around that I was going to use as a foot pedal because it's just I can just click on this. And I found a piece of software for the Mac that allows you to uh, program the mouse. It um, is uh, Steer Mouse. Uh, and so S-T-E-E-R Mouse. And that works great. You can actually program the buttons. So I was able to program it to the space bar, which is what I need to, um, to take a picture uh, here. And then you can step on that as a foot pedal. So it's a cheap foot pedal. Uh, that you may be able to do right there at home. So let's see what we can find um, in this. There's, you know, there's, there's a, a big, big columbola. Sometimes if things are moving um, too fast, then you just have to kind of follow along and see if you can't, you know, it's find a there's a real mite. tiny mite. And the depth of field that you see on the monitor is is much less than what I'm seeing. It's a termite. Termite. It's much less than what I actually get with my photo. Headshot. Oh, here's a here's a Kalimla that's moving a little slower. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get him. Ooh, ooh, he did like something down there. Yeah. He's about to come back out. Oh, look, you can see his eye. You can see that down there. There's that. That was uh, maybe a nephter and nymph. Good and I am using a full frame. I'm using my 5D Mark IV so that I can crop in on these a little bit if I need to. This is actually quite a bit of fun. It's a, if you if you've ever played video games, that's very much what this is like. Like follow it, get it in focus. Ooh, there's a bunch of columbola. They're going, they're going to, they're going somewhere. To brunch, maybe. Sometimes it takes, what, why is that half black? Is it just not oh, downloaded uh, yet? No, that's the shutter, um, Sh shutter sync speed. speed. Sometimes with these older flashes, um, the, um, I've got the shutter speed too fast, even at 160th. So I've, I've lowered it to one one twenty fifth. You can oftentimes take shots at that shutter speed, but when you start seeing that, you have to show, uh, slow it down. Um, I also should say that I have this all set up with the stack shot, so that uh, there's a, the camera is actually mounted on a stack shot rail on the coffee stand, and I have the stack shot handy over stack here. Stack shot and the rail. So if I. Oh, this is rail. Yeah, so if I want, if something's stationary, um, I can try to do a series of stack shots um, as well. Uh, <clears throat> right now I'm not anticipating that, needing that, but I have it there if I need it. It's another video we can do is how to stack both in the field and with, uh, in, in the lab. These things don't like light, so you do have to, you know, they tend to go away from the light, bury themselves. Oops. Uh, hopefully we can find something. We may want to do more of this part a little bit later. I've still got them going in there. There just may not be a ton in here right now. Oh, there's combo. Whoa. There's a big mite trampling through there. And it totally scared that ran over that away. columbola, yeah. Wait, what's down? It's a phylum. Uh, maybe, or a diplurin. I think that oh, might be diplurin? a diplurin. Yeah, that's a Japigid diplurin. Woo! Let's see if, we can, if it comes can up. See, see this, oh, you can the just Cersei. See the... And, uh, come see. on, bud. Come on out for us to see you. Oh, he says, okay. Here come. Oh, oh we can see the little... Pinch your legs, Cersei going in. Oh, there's an ant. That was a miniature trap jaw. Oh, it's a trap jaw. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Hey, dude. Let's see if we can follow him a little bit. 
we've gotten the, this, this guy before and it has so much like um, dimpling or texture on the head. And... Yeah. Okay, so this is one of the most technical ways that we photograph some of these tiny little critters in the leaf litter and soil. You can do this with just a camera lens and throw it in the white box that we've done several other videos on. Um, and we will do videos on that too, just to show you how we do this with um, with less less equipment. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching, and if you could like and subscribe, that would be awesome. Thanks. Bye.